I got a phone call from Bubba Paris, three-time Super Bowl winner, Joe Montana's left tackle, and he said, Mike, I've been out to your happiness hall of fame three times. I think I'm pretty much an expert on what you're looking for. There's a woman that I will not get off this phone until you tell me that you're going to induct her into the happiness hall of fame. Her name is Helen Owens. And I said, okay, because I love her. I was one of the few people today that when he calls you up, will speak to you for an hour on the phone. <laughs> Who speaks for an hour on the phone anymore? And it's a joy. It's a joy to speak to this wonderful man. So I knew if Bubba said Helen was good, Helen was good. Now, Helen Owens has helped many people throughout the world with her amazing rags to riches story. Helen focuses on topics that inspire, educate, and encourage women rise to their greatest potential. Helen Owens draws from the lessons in her three-time literary award-winning book, Finding Our She Compass, 15 Life Lessons for Women, Voyaging Toward Restoration, Reconstruction, and Renewal. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Helen Owens. this I this honor. I like to say today that this is something that I've been doing this for 40 years. I've been working in this field for 40 years and I still love what I do. And when you've worked doing something for 40 years and you still love it, you know you're you're doing the right thing, right? Because most of us we talked about that earlier, we're doing things that we're not happy with. How do we find happiness? Let me see. Let me start with this, because this is my truth. I find happiness waking up and going to sleep knowing that God has my back. Every day, he wakes me up and he puts me to sleep. And I know, and people ask me all the time, how do you know that God has your back? How do you know? And I say because of the great things that I've done, I can never do them by myself. The people that I've inspired, I can never inspire without him holding his hand and leading me. Now let me tell you, I have this great ingredients for happiness sauce. Every day is not going to be a happy day, but guess what? If you're happy, you need to teach someone else how to be happy and what happiness looks like. Those of us that are happy and have found the remedy to that happiness sauce, and we pour it out into the cups of the people that we feel need it. And guess what? That's all of us. Because when one of us is happy, then all of us are happy. You know why? Because if you can spread happiness, we live in a world right now, we know when we walk outside of this room, I have people that I know right now who have problems. We're always going to have problems. There's never going to be a day that we don't have problems. But happiness, we can still even find happiness in that. You know what I do? I'll walk up to someone and I'll say, Hi, ma'am. How are you today? My name is Helen Owens. Can I give you a hug? I don't know you, but can I hug you? Can I give you a hug? And I will give a hug to a stranger. I have friends that go out with me all the time and say, you know, Helen, you're so nice, you're so sweet. You hug people, you spread love to people that you don't even know. And I say, you know what? Because when that person feels good about themselves, I've had people tell me, you don't know what you just done for me with that hug. You don't know how I felt before you said hello to me. You don't know what I was going through. And when you spread happiness, isn't this as this is what happiness is, right? Spreading happiness to one another. We don't hold it for ourselves. We don't keep it for ourselves. We take that cup and we take that ingredients of happiness sauce and we spread it to everybody we know. So if you do it, if I do it, if she does it, if he does it, if he does it, if she does it, then it spreads like a wildfire. And before you know it, we have more happy people than we have people who are sad or who are angry or who are depressed. We all want 
one thing in this life. We want to be loved. We want to be loved. Isn't that what we all want? Can I get a hey? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. We all want to be loved. And so with this formula, I was a little girl. I'm from a place called Hernes Point in San Francisco. It was, it's considered a ghetto. But for me, my mother showed me what hard work looked like. She had six kids and her hard work ethic showed me as a little girl from Hernes Point who had lost my hair. This is a wig, by the way. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> I'm a bald woman. I'm proud of it. I have had alopecia when I was 11 years old. But God blessed me to bless other women. Now why? Some people say, why was your mission women? Let me tell you, when you grow up with a single mom who works hard and shows you what hard works, and what it looks like, I wanted to show every woman who didn't have hair, who lost their hair as a child, or who lost their hair as a, as a grown woman. I didn't know that I was going to encounter the things I encountered. I thought I was just gonna do wigs or hair pieces for people with hair loss. But I didn't know that included cancer, lupus, thyroid problems, alopecia, hair depression, hair, what I call environmental hair loss. Women are losing hair to every, you would just not even imagine, in every walk of life. Every walk of life. I worked on people with a lot and people with very little. I've helped children in burn units and done hair for free, donated hair to people who couldn't afford it because I was a little girl and I didn't know what alopecia was. But I met a lady that was 92 years old and she taught me how to make these things. And when I sat on my porch as a little girl and I cried, Granny put her hand over my shoulder and she said, don't worry, you lost your hair, but Granny's gonna teach you how to make hair so beautiful, you're gonna have better hair than everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, I'm loving it so much because I can just be every woman. I can be wherever I want to be. That's right. I don't have to just be Helen Owens. I can be Helen Owens today and tomorrow I can be, hey, Beyonce. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is sometimes God gives us a mission. And when you accept that mission and when you accept who you are, from in here, not from out here, because we can all judge one another for what we look like, if we have hair, if we don't, if we're skinny, if we're fat, if we're little, if we're big, if we're black, if we're white. But what we all have in common is we're human beings. And we deserve love, we deserve happiness, and we deserve to give that to one another because that is the most valuable thing that we can ever get. Trust me, from a little girl from Hunters Point who turned her business into a multi-million dollar business, the most important thing is all of you. What can I give back? What can I give back in this life to make people happy? Because like I said, when God wakes me up and he puts me to sleep at night, he says, Helen, you were born for this. Thank you very much. <laughs>